First time I got to fly or get behind the controls of an aircraft, I was 13 years old and it was in a glider, took us up, we went flying the first time, experienced it, it was very different from commercial aviation and, and there was sort of a finesse to it that really appealed to me. From a young age I was exposed to aviation and aerospace and it had been around in my life all, all the way through infancy and at that point I wanted to understand the mechanics behind flight and how to even go about making and designing aircraft. Both my mom and my dad were Air Force and my dad was a pilot, right? We actually had, from like young age, we, would, we had flight suits. We had all these, you know, flight suits and gear. We'd, I'd frequently go into the base, get to see the simulators, get to see the aircraft, sometimes go out on the flight line. I'd always memorize, you know, all the different kinds of aircraft when I'd see them flying overhead. And the thing is, like, my parents didn't force me in this direction either. Like, it was sort of like, you go figure this out. And I came here to Georgia Tech really to try a lot of things. I didn't even know there was a Yellow Jacket Flying Club. I, I wanted to go to the, you know, the best aerospace school and study and learn flight, but um, I didn't even know they had a flying club here until I got here. And fortunately, you know, ran into that program and immediately set my eyes on getting a private pilot's license. A lot of my enjoyment is just taking other people flying. So after a while, you, you enjoy flying, you know, it's, it's, it's fun, but I, it brings me joy to just see it in another person's face. A buddy of mine, another student, you know, we'll just literally talk to each other like, hey man, you wanna go fly over downtown tonight? And we're like, sure, let's do it. You get a bird's eye view of what's going around in the area, right? And you'll see that evolve over time as you continue to fly in that area. You get the bug, they call it, you get the, you gotta scratch that itch. I spend too much time on the ground, I start getting that itch again. And I have to keep going and, and at least get up and fly. It's it's sort of a an addiction that you can't really quell throughout the life. It's always going to be there. I hope to sort of pass us on. It's been in the family, it's been in friends, you know, it's, it's sort of an inherent part of my life for the rest of my life.